So it, when we carry these feelings of betrayal, it disconnects us from our own divinity, and therefore from Creator. Even if we have a connection in our minds, a philosophy, a belief, a religion, there is still a deeper disconnection. So in meditation, you may not get all the way into that visceral experience of that unconditional love. There will still be this detachment that happens. Out of this disconnection, our thoughts harden and we fall into patterns of having more negative and critical thoughts. And we create room in our subconscious of this concept of feeling separate. This concept of I am separate allows for the illusion of separation to make our emotions feel like we have to protect ourselves. When we run into all these protective emotions of anger and resentment, regret, guilt, fear. And all of this hardens and stagnates our energy rather than allowing for our energy to flow. In our spiritual practice and in our spiritual beliefs, we want to be in the, those feelings like a child of innocence and purity. When we let go of having to be logical, when we let go of having to protect ourselves, we create space to be in that place of wonder and magic and invite in miracles to happen. It is not out of belief that these things come in, it is more out of the spiritual surrender that allows for magic and miracles to appear. So as we grow, we are meant to experience certain things so that we can mature through that age of childhood and the child mindset. And then we step into an adult mindset where we learn responsibility and we get to practice compassion. But we still bring forward those positive elements of the child mindset. Yet when you were a child, were the people around you actually being adults? Were they being responsible? Did they show you compassion? Because the needs of a child has a need for people to be adult. So these betrayals typically were because you were having a need for somebody to be matured that they are incapable of because they never got to finish their own childhood. So you may be feeling betrayed by the government right now or by your community. You may be feeling disconnected and alone because you're expecting for our culture to be more matured than it is. That you as light workers decided to come and step into this life to heal humanity, to heal the world. Which means it's okay to acknowledge that humanity is a bunch of children. But if we disconnect from it and just work on our beliefs, then all we're going to want to do is return home to our soul. Rather than staying here. And when you're really 
devoted in your soul to wanting to facilitate change on this planet, you will attract situations that create stress, that create fear and worry, that create conflict, to lower your thoughts so that you stay connected here rather than holding a larger energetic field, which is to, to practice your virtues, to practice being in a place from your heart. So, a major element here is forgiveness. Forgiveness is a letting go and allowing for life force and energy to return so that we can be more present in the now. This is what forgiveness is. There is a completion within forgiveness where we learn lessons and complete karma. And forgiveness is one of the most powerful virtues that can complete and release betrayal. So would you all like to know what it feels like and how to forgive yourself, to forgive creator and the universe, and to know that it is possible and that you can forgive humans and people in your life and past. If you'd like these downloads, close your eyes and say yes to receive. <laughs> 